Hi, it's Lee, and I've got another set of pickups. Uh, this was an interesting week. I did most of these pickups at a store in a flea market uh, in a place called Carp, but I also picked up... Uh, actually, I might have picked up everything at that flea market now that I look at it. Anyways, I'll show you what I got. So the first thing I picked up was this game here. This is Wizards and Warriors. A very common NES game. I have Wizards and Warriors too. It's called Iron Sword, I believe. This is just my OCD kicking in and me saying I should probably get rid of the original if I've got the second one. So I'll get that out of the way. Um, here's a not very exciting game. This is Sports Talk Baseball. I don't usually go out and buy sports games, but it was two bucks. And I'm actually kind of nostalgic for this one. I used to play this with my friend Brian. And we used to always pick the Oakland Athletics because they had the most power hitters in this. So you had Canseco, you had uh, um, Henderson, you had uh, McGuire. And they you just hit bombs all the time. Fun game. I know it's just sports, but I like it. So let's move it over. On the Genesis front, some more stuff. Now this is... Toe Jam and Earl in Panic on Funkatron. Uh, a lot of people love this game. I don't really love it because I find it complicated. Maybe, especially as a kid, I didn't get it. But I saw someone play it recently, and I was still like, how do you know where you are? Because there's so many levels to it, right? It's all kind of... Uh, there's an extra dimension, a vertical dimension to the game. And it's hard for me to wrap my head around it for some reason. Now, this is in pretty garbage shape. The, the cart's fine, but the case is in rough shape. It also came with a manual that was practically destroyed. Um, it was still cool to get a manual with it. Uh, I think I only paid 15 bucks for this, which tends to be... It tends to be a little bit pricier, but I guess condition really factored in on this one. Uh, I gave the manual away to my friend Christian, who I mentioned quite often. He is going for a complete Genesis collection. He got a really... A couple of really big titles out of the way recently. Um... I, on the other hand, do not have a near-complete Genesis collection, so why the hell would I care about a manual? Uh, I'd rather see my friend kind of get further along with his collection. Another Genesis game here is The Fairy Tale Adventure. Now, this is not a very rare game. Typically, I think I paid 20 bucks for this, and that's kind of going rate. Uh, but it's an RPG. It looks kind of cool. I... Whenever I'm trying to like pick games, I make myself a list based on what they look like. And I don't really care what people say they play like. I just kind of want them. I think there's cool art on the cover of this. It's like a dragon that's attacking this guy who's got his shield. And the dragon's broken a piece of rock off. Like, that's badass. I, I, I want to play this game just based on the cover art. So, I like it. And one last game, and it's probably the most desirable of the games I got. And most modern, certainly. So here is Star Fox Adventures. So there's two Star Fox games on the GameCube. They're both kind of expensive. This is the less expensive of the two. Um, apparently, they're both quite different. Uh, but this one is... They're both considered pretty decent games. I saw a price on this that was quite a bit lower than my going rate. Uh, I've never played either game, so I can't really comment on the differences and things like that. I know... I've heard things, but I feel like if I were to speak about them, I'd probably talk about the wrong game. Uh, this has sticker stuff for me to remove with Goo Gone, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, yeah, so, by the way, when I mentioned that my friend Christian got some big titles out, I'm talking, like, Musha. Like, Musha on the Sega Genesis. That's a, a game that tends to go for easily over $300. Now... You guys see all my videos, and I can I can show you my stack of games again, just to show off what I got. But you guys see my videos all the time, and you guys know who the stars of my videos are. They're my hands, clearly. Um, I just thought I'd show you something cool. Check out how swollen my left hand is compared to my right hand right now. It's like 30% bigger. Isn't that crazy? I'm doing this... So I have evidence when I die eventually from whatever is ailing my left hand. Uh, basically, I think I know what it is because I, 
I essentially punched a trailer <laughs> while shoveling gravel three weeks ago, and it kind of, the pain dissipated after a while, and for some reason last week it started again, and then this week, this weekend, excuse me, uh, my hand just swole up to about, well, realistically it's about 20% bigger than my other hand, which is probably something I should see a doctor about, but I'm a man, and men don't go to the doctor. That's a lesson for all of you guys. We'll all die at 40, but at least we're not going to go see doctors like the pussies out there. All right. Those were the games. Those were the stars of the show. Hopefully I still have this one next time you see me or you see my, my video games. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.